In this video, we will be comparing Notion Calendar with Google Calendar to help you decide which one is actually better. We will be judging them in terms of ease of use, collaboration perks, as well as how they integrate into your daily workflow. Let's get started. Let's start with what it's like to just open these apps and start using them. Google Calendar is simple and clean. It's got that familiar Google look. Nothing fancy, but everything's right where you'd expect it. Creating events is super quick, and if you already use Gmail or Google Meet, it all connects seamlessly. You don't need a manual to figure it out. Notion Calendar, on the other hand, is newer, but pretty sleek. It looks more modern and feels a bit more flexible out of the gate. That said, if you're new to Notion in general, it might take a minute to wrap your head around how things connect. Google Calendar wins for instant usability. Notion Calendar feels more customizable, but it comes with a learning curve. Okay, so once you're in, how do they feel day to day? Google Calendar is great for traditional scheduling. Meetings, reminders, repeating tasks, it handles those perfectly. Color coding is nice, notifications are reliable, and the mobile app is super solid. If you're someone who lives and breathes by your schedule, it's dependable. Now, Notion Calendar shines if your schedule is tied to bigger projects or documents. Since it's connected to the Notion ecosystem, you can link your meetings directly to your notes, project pages, or databases. For example, I can have a meeting on Monday that links directly to a task board or a goal tracker. That's powerful if your workflow lives inside Notion already. If you just need a calendar, Google does it better. But if your calendar is just one part of a bigger system, Notion's tight integrations can save you a ton of clicks. Here's where Notion starts to flex a little. With Google Calendar, you get different calendar views, day, week, month. You can color code events and share calendars with others. It's solid, but you can't really customize how things behave beyond the basics. In Notion Calendar, you can create custom views, filters, tags, and even sort events by different properties. For instance, I can see only deadlines, or only team-related meetings in one click. You can turn your calendar into a dashboard that actually reflects how you think. If you're detail-obsessed or need custom workflows, Notion is way more flexible. Google Calendar keeps things simple, but that can also be limiting. Let's talk about working with others. Google Calendar is king here. It's incredibly easy to check availability, book meetings with teammates, send invites, and integrate with Zoom, Google Meet, Slack, you name it. For Teams, it just works. Notion Calendar does allow for shared calendars and syncing with Google Calendar, kind of, but it's not as fluid. If your whole team is on Notion and you've set it up well, it's great. But if you're working with people outside your Notion workspace, it gets a bit messy. Google wins on team coordination. Notion's great for internal workflows, but not built for universal collaboration, at least not yet. Quick one, mobile apps. Google Calendar's app is mature, lightweight, and reliable. You can do everything you need on the go. Notion Calendar's mobile app is still growing. It's decent, but definitely not as polished or fast as Google's. If you rely heavily on your phone for scheduling, Google's ahead here. Both are free to start with. Google Calendar comes bundled with your Gmail account. If you're using Workspace, you get a few more business-focused features. Notion Calendar is free too, but really shines when you're already using Notion's other tools. And the paid plans unlock more advanced features like automation or team management. You won't be shelling out extra for basic use either way. But if you're already using Notion, the calendar is a smart add-on. If you just want a standalone calendar, Google is enough. So here's the bottom line. Go with Google Calendar if you want something straightforward, reliable, and team-friendly especially if your work already revolves around Google tools. It's a no-brainer. Go with Notion Calendar if you're deep into Notion or love organizing your life in a more customized, project-based way. It's got huge potential, especially if your notes, tasks, and docs are already living in Notion. For me personally, I still use Google Calendar for meetings, but I've been slowly moving my personal planning and creative projects into Notion Calendar. It's just more flexible and satisfying to use once it's set up. All right, that's a wrap on this comparison. If you've tried both, 
I'd love to hear which one works better for you. Drop a comment and share your setup. And if this video helped you figure things out, hit that like button and consider subscribing for more tool breakdowns like this. Catch you in the next one.